Uh, I know you've had a number of initiatives there at a point delivering what? Footwear for children, yeah. schools. What's the latest in North Tone? How much is uh, Okujatwa Blackpa bettering the lives of the constituents? Tell, tell us what the state of North Tone is. Well, so let me first of all extend warm regards to all viewers and uh, particularly to the chiefs and people of North Tone. As you do know, I uh, like to be a member of parliament who delivers uh, on my mandate, who will always go all out to better the lot of my people. And so we are rolling out and continue to roll out a number of initiatives. The latest one we did is last week was a new initiative to fumigate and disinfect all our hospitals and our, and our schools. So I'm partnering with uh, a private entity. And uh, we had a good time last week, uh, the Bato Catholic Hospital, the Three Kings Special School, mm. and it's going to be uh, very regular. Uh, before, before that, I received a, a team of um, uh, doctors based in the United States of America. They called the, 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 the themselves the Ghana Association of uh, Medical Aid. So it's, um, it's an association led by a Ghanaian, but he's able to reach out to colleagues in the health sector in the U.S. And every year they do an outreach in, in, in Ghana. I uh, uh, was very pleased to host them for five days in my constituency. We did all kinds of um, uh, outreaches uh, that relate to um, uh, from those who needed surgeries who had to be referred to right. all those who had, you know, um, uh, conditions that um, even you can say that were uh, unknown hitherto. So they didn't, wow. they didn't know that they really needed. When these needed you know, medical control. personnel came, then they and found out. They then they this. found out. Then they found out. And so it's been really impactful. Uh, there were about 40 of them, 40 of these volunteers. And uh, we were able to um, make an impact in all the six traditional areas in my, in my constituency. So it was a mobile team. Mm. And uh, within the five-day period, it was, it was very, very, very effective. They also were able to leverage mm. on a new medical facility, which uh, we uh, commissioned in October last year, which we are calling the John Evans at Tamil Surgical Block. You know, I the, see. the late president uh, uh, remains my mentor and icon. And uh, we have honored him by having the first edifice in, in my constituency uh, that will continue to, uh, if you like, shed light on the compassion and the kind of uh, uh, humanity, modest approach that he brought to, to leadership. And, so, and those are some of the pictures yes, you those see are, those are the in your pictures, shop, yes, currently. of the, of the fumigation and uh, disinfection that we did. Mm. So the, the surgical block, um, Benji, if you come look at it, you'll think that you, know, you are in you know, a very uh, you know, uh, urban area. Uh, many people see the pictures and ask, is that really North Tong, mm. you know? Uh, because you don't expect that kind of facility normally mm. in, um, in, 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 in rural Ghana. Uh, but uh, we've pulled it off. It was a very beautiful partnership with, right. with a Spanish NGO and then uh, an American NGO. So the, the Spanish NGO helped me with the shell, the actual construction of the building. Okay. Uh, just had to do a 10% contribution. And then the American NGO so helped So you personally contributed 10%? Yes. Okay. The American NGO helped me with the, uh, with, the, with the equipment. With that one, you have to contribute 20%. Okay. Uh, and, and so very... So how did very, you pull this very, off from very, your, very, your very standpoint? Beautiful. Was it from your uh, common fund? Yes, yes. So uh, what you got from the common so fund? So what I got from the common fund. And then... Uh, personal contributions as well. The common fund was not adequate, so okay. I had to use personal resources. And then I always reach out. I always have this pool of, um, of friends, donors, uh, most of them illustrious sons and daughters from the constituency. Mm. And I always share my plan. So every year we have you know, a roadmap, right. what we want to achieve in a year, and I share it. 
um, like what we'll be doing uh, later uh, this week, so, so which, is, which is a surprise. So, so, so if I can just conclude on the, the surgical block, mm -hmm. the North Bank uh, of, the, of the Volta River, that entire enclave, mm -hmm. uh, does not have a surgical block. So anytime there is need for surgical services, even for basic things such as, you know, C-section for our mothers, uh, we have to always, you know, transfer them either to Akosumbo or to Ho or bring them to Accra, Tema. But now uh, we have a know, facility, that, a can facility that can take care of them. And fortunately, I've also been able to attract uh, a top, top professional, a doctor. Uh, we, we put out a nice package, you know, a finished building, you know, rent free. And that helped us to attract the first doctor for that enclave. Right. So that's, that's going very, very well.